we're here with uh, Duran from Ulti UAS uh, down in South Africa and uh, having a look at their new Ulti transition aircraft. Um, Duran, Ulti, the company Ulti UAS, what were your motivations for starting it and what do you aim to achieve with the Ulti transition aircraft? Well, um, Ulti UAS is a very new company. Um, we have another drone company called Steady Drone, and Ulti is um, kind of an evolution of where Steady Drone is going. And about a year ago, I noticed the uh, you know, involvement with beetles, vertical takeoff and landing, hybrid multicopters, and fixed wing aircraft, and that really got my attention, and I was quite fascinated by that. And I really think that is kind of the best of both worlds. If you look at where drones are going, there's a lot of companies now are starting to explore VTOLs and um, the advantages that they have. So um, we created Alti, we started working on our first product um, that's actually flying behind me called the Transition and um, we've been in development for probably about nine months to 12 months with the Transition and we're doing final test flights this week and next week and um, that's a brief little history of uh, Alti and the Transition. All right and then Transition itself, um, the aircraft, um, could you tell us a little bit more about the specs, um, flight time, endurance, um, the type of materials you use, the type of engines, yep. and all that? Sure, the transition is basically it's a, what we call a double hybrid, so it's an electric and fuel petrol driven aircraft, but it's also a multi-copter and fixed wing aircraft, so we call it a double hybrid. Um, so essentially it's a 2.8 meter fixed wing aircraft. Um, the aircraft was um, designed in Australia by a company called Carbonics and it's an incredibly efficient wing in terms of the shape and the airfoils and the winglets and everything and uh, we then uh, built it from the ground up as VTOL um, with an electric, four electric quadcopter motors so essentially it can take off and land vertically, go straight up and then does a transition into fixed wing flight which um, can then do missions flying for up to six hours because it's got a four stroke 21cc petrol motor so our efficiency and the fixed wing and the long endurance is there and then when you're done with the mission it back transitions into a multi-copter and just lands vertically so um, basic specs 2.8 meter wingspan so it's a very compact we only have four connecting points in terms of assembling the aircraft so it's uh, incredibly compact and incredibly quick to assemble and work so from in the case to in the air you're looking at five ten minutes so it's a very rapidly deployable aircraft as well um, yeah, 2.8 meter wingspan, uh, you have about 5 minutes in terms of hovering, but normally it takes us half a minute to get up to altitude for the transition and even less on a back transition. And then uh, endurance in actual mission, uh, fixed wing flight of up to about 6 hours. Alright, and, and who do you envision will use the ULTI? Uh, what, what kind of applications do you see for the airframe? Well, we announced the ULTI in June, July with the Unmanned Systems Technology magazine. Um, we had a front cover and the Dorsey article in the magazine when we announced it and there's been a tremendous amount of um, interest and we have clients who want to come down and do demos and we're, as I said earlier, um, just wrapping up final development right now. But the type of clients we've um, heard from and who are really interested are bigger commercial companies and industrial companies. So, um, you know, mining companies, oil and pipeline, surveillance, uh, a lot of government companies who want to do border patrolling and that kind of stuff. Um, as you can see, it's a 2.8 meter fixed wing aircraft. We have a twin tail boom that um, also has the VTOL components, the quadcopter side integrated into it. Um, the VTOL motors we have in um, carbon uh, motor pods, obviously making it aerodynamic and quite slippery. The whole wing is incredibly slippery and efficient. Um, very good design work by D3 Applied Technologies and Carbonics, um, the manufacturer of the actual airframe. Um, itself and um, yeah we have quite a long nose section uh, fuel tank is integrated into the tank or into the airframe itself inside under the avionics bay um, so it's not a standalone fuel tank it's actually integrated into the airframe itself you'll see the front landing gear is actually a lift producing airfoil as well so it's not just a landing gear um, we have split elevator on the back for redundant control services and uh, even if we do um, lose uh, fixed wing flight control service, um, the VTOLs obviously will kick in um, and produce a fail safe and you know being able to land it safely on the ground again. Um, we spent quite a lot of time developing the um, wire rope dampener for the single cylinder combustion engine 
as you know there's a quite a lot of vibration with a uh, single piston engine like that and uh, we also have a wire rope dampening on the avionics itself so um, it does a really good job cutting out any vibration for the actual airframe.